everybody and welcome for a good look around the cockpit and the interior of the Sea Line S28 to give you an idea of what it's like to be on board if you're not actually on board. And it's a virtual reality video so all you need to do is swipe your screen or click and drag your screen up, down, left or right and you can look around whenever you like, wherever you like and hopefully it will give you that really good feel as to what this boat's all about. So as you can see I'm standing in the cockpit, I've got the radar arch above me, loads of headroom, we're inside this wonderful room created by the cockpit enclosure, we can unzip, unzip the sides and we can unzip, unzip the front and take the top down if you want to to get the hair, the wind to our hair, but uh, as it is at the moment it's a really really windy day and look how calm it is inside here, but we've still got great windows Great visibility all the way around us, so fantastic for views in the marina and also keeping watch at sea. Lovely uh, teak cockpit flooring here, so as we come through the companion way here, we've got a closing door to keep the kids and the dog in, no problem at all. Brings us into the cockpit, immediately beneath us, we just put the table away and fold up this chair. We've got the two engines, great access there, and you can see around us I've got uh, seating, uh, a bench seat at the back, a bench seat at the front, big cockpit table here and here we've got the uh, the all important uh, mini beach bar there we've got hot and cold running water inside there uh, we've got a cupboard here which can be retrofitted uh, to be confirmed with a fridge if you would like and the gas locker to my left here well away from the uh, the accommodation so lots of room here plenty of room for uh, uh, entertaining lounging and just having a nice time with everybody stereo speakers each side down lighting here and it looks like we have storage up here to put the tent away into there to be confirmed also. Moving forwards, nice and easy companion way to get through, more of a bench seat and we can recline there if we want to and you're sitting on the back of the uh, aft facing seat and the forward facing helm seat and as you can see we've got wheel steering, we've got trim controls, engine start and stop, DSC VHF, a Garmin unit under there, electrics panel and all the uh, engine instrumentation that you would expect, expect to find. So uh, uh, tacos, hours, alarms and warnings, uh, engine oil pressure, uh, uh, engine coolant temperature, battery etc etc. Throttles to your right hand side here, compass and a small nav station for those that still want to use paper charts or somewhere to put your pilotage plans, publications etc. And then just in front of us in a really um, great Visibility area, we've got the uh, boat speed and depth also, very good. And the upholstery looks lovely, the, the flooring as I said looks really lovely as well. This uh, walnut effect table matches downstairs, all looking very nice and white and bright. This is uh, August of 2024 all just being professionally refurbished, cleaned, polished, all that kind of stuff, so that's why she's looking great. But let's pick you up and take you downstairs through the companion way, which is a nice sliding affair. There we are, it slides away out of the way to keep it from preventing it, causing any damage as we're at sea. And uh, we find ourselves in the galley and the main saloon here, so I'll work my way in an anti-clockwise way. So here, uh, we've got a really easy companion way to get through. We've got carpet and bilge access down here. In the starboard aft corner here, we've got the galley. As I mentioned, we've got the water effect all oh, looks nice and contemporary a little uh, spicer shelf above we've got the electrics panel here we've got a thermostat we've got gas safety we've got a stereo fusion unit or a fusion stereo unit here uh, opening windows great above uh, what we have under here so we've got a two burner cooker there and you can see that we've got a sink here with a cover there we go either side may be used twin sink unit and a bit of chopping room there also. We have a fridge inset underneath, a useful cupboard underneath the sinks too, and a microwave underneath the hob there too, and more cupboardry underneath there. So plenty for a couple or small small family for uh, a weekend or a little bit longer, I think. Very nice indeed. And the light wood, the light surfaces everywhere, the light upholstery looks great. And let's get you a little bit closer to that light upholstery. So you can see as we've got it at the moment configured with the infills in, so this makes one dry enormous great big bed. Take away the infill and uh, raise up the table in the middle and you've got U-shaped seating with the table there. Access to the bilge underneath there by the looks of it. We have uh, another tall cupboard here which uh, which is just being impeded by this seat, seat at the moment so I'm not going to uh, force the issue. Uh, but uh, all looking really nice. We have shelves either side with stowage inside by the looks of it. A hatch above us, uh, opening windows either side and uh, a fiddle shelf either side as well and two stereo speakers. All looking really nice, feeling clean, smells great, is a nice place to be. Even the headlining is good. We have a little bit of uh, vinylette and a little bit of uh, moulding here or, or gel coats. Nice and easy to keep clean and it is, indeed it is nice and clean. Fantastic. Another hatch above me as well. So great for ventilation on this boat. 
Right, let's pick you up again and I'll take you into the head compartment and I'll just plonk you there. And we have uh, Jack and Jill access, so either side can uh, access the, uh, sorry, there we go. Either side can access the head without disturbing the occupants of the other cabin. Brilliant news. Uh, in here, uh, nice and bright, nice and white. We have an opening window. We have storage above the heads. We've got somewhere to sit if we want to. And we have the toilet underneath that seat. And we have a shower inset into the work surface here with the hot and cold running water. And of course, if you want to sit and have a shower, that's where you would do it courtesy of the uh, the wraparound uh, shower curtain there and of course it all disappears down the hole and uh, loving the fact that around this compartment we have lots of radius corners so nice and easy to wipe out and keep clean no problem at all good head height in here as well just to mention head height i'm five foot nine probably about six feet there i would guess and probably about the same in the head compartment so really useful for everybody so let's pick you up out of there close the door on that and we'll take this door through now remember we have jack and jill access there into the main uh, aft into the only aft cabin now on my right here we can see we have a good sized hanging locker there we have a fiddle shelf above and a opening window we have an opening window here and one there into the cockpit so good ventilation in here feels nice and light you can see we have a nice headboard so um, unusually for a boat of this type size both occupants of the bed can sit back here and read a book if they want to, I think. We have curtains for the windows too, should be comfy with the headboard. And you can see we've got a reasonably wide uh, berth here, nice and long berth, so should be comfortable for the weekend. Head high here is obviously a little bit compromised, but that's because your feet belong under there, don't they? And that's going under the cockpit, but it's a design of these kind of boats. Access to the bilge underneath this mattress, and behind that cupboard over there, we have a battery charger where we have the uh, cabin heating and we have the chlorifier as well. It's just in case you're pulling the door open. It's all there for your delectation and delight. All very good. So let's uh, finish off that and we'll just go back out of the door here and make our way up to the uh, cockpit where I'll just sum up by saying that this has been Tim from Boatshire Drop Brokers taking you for a quick tour of this lovely, clean, very classy looking sea lion s25 thanks for watching lots more information at boatshedbrighton.com but if you like these virtual reality videos or videos that aren't virtual reality but showing the same content just go to our youtube video our youtube channel which is boatshed brighton and east one yacht brokers where you find hundreds of videos showing details of the smallest cheapest fishing boat around all the way through to the biggest whacking great big gin palaces in brighton and east one thanks for watching see you soon